All right, in this video, we're going to do a bake-off between two props, a Yamaha 13 and a quarter by 14 versus a Powertech 13 and a quarter by 14. The reason I'm doing this is that for this particular engine, Yamaha F70, mounted on a classic Montauk 17, uh, there's a lot of discussion on Continuous Wave and Whaler Central. Um, and these two props come up a lot as being the ideal prop for that particular combination of engine and hull. So I had the opportunity to get a Yamaha prop for a very reasonable price. I already had the Powertech one. Why not do a bake off and see what the performance metrics are? Well, so without any further ado, let me go ahead and jump into that. But before we do that, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. All right, so we're on the lake and what we're gonna do, we're gonna take a couple of runs. Um, lake is calm, there's hardly any wind. And the whole idea of doing this is to basically challenge the Powertech prop versus the Yamaha prop. There's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of forms that uh, actually say that they're both good. Uh, they're both identical, and I'll put the uh, type that they are, pitch and size in the uh, comments, or excuse me, in the description. But for right now, we're gonna get out to where we're gonna make the runs, go back and forth, we're gonna change prop. We've got the Powertech prop on right now. All right, so what we're gonna do now is the Powertech run. There's gonna be two runs, one going south on the lake, one coming north on the lake. I'm gonna get it wide open throttle, set the trim to the same exact point on both of them. Then we'll do some math and we'll do some comparison, see which prop, uh, which prop is better. All right, run number one for the Powertech, actually run one and two, and we're gonna focus on the instruments and see what we got for them this run. Uh, so that was a pretty interesting run and we got about 5800 rpm 34.4 miles to the uh, 34.4 mph miles per hour <coughs> um sog so we're going to do it in the other direction and then uh, do the math and get the prop sli slippage um for both those runs all right run number two on powertech All right, so we did the first two runs with the Powertech, and now we're gonna go ahead and do a prop change, uh, which was a hot, sweaty, mosquito-ridden thing to do on shore with the boat backed up to the land, but we did it anyway. This is looking not Thank you. 
All right, it's on. Let's get back on the lake. That's probably a little bit more effort than I wanted to expend, but um, we got to do what we got to do. Right? Let's get everything back on the boat, and we'll go ahead and uh, test out the Yamaha prop. All right, so we got the Yamaha prop on. Uh, we're going to do the same run in uh, identical conditions. Uh, same two runs, actually. We'll do the math on those, and then we'll compare the math later on. First run, uh, easily got up to 6,000 RPM, which is uh, the operating range for this engine. Um, however, the speed was 33, but a mile per hour less. So I'm gonna say that that Powertech seems to have more bite, probably a deeper cup. Uh, we'll take another run, and like I said, we'll do the math later, and we'll see what prop slippage is. Although I think the Yamaha has a lot more prop slippage than the uh, Powertech, so we'll see. All right, run number two on the Yamaha prop. Here we go. so that was run number two i trimmed it up as far as i dared it went up to about 6100 rpm still within the operating range um but uh i didn't want to take it up any more than that i think the props are similar i really think the power tech has less slippage um because it would take us up to 34.4 miles an hour at peak rpm with I think it was 5500 5600 i'll get the specs and um i'll put it in the um uh, i'll put it in the uh description once we uh, get this video ready to go and publish all right so we finished all four runs uh the results were actually kind of surprising um the 
Yamaha prop spun up a lot faster than the Powertech. Um, it also got the boat on plane a bit quicker, from what I could tell, but that's not what I was measuring. That's just a per perception on my part, at least. You can tell from the videos and make your own conclusions. However, what I ended up getting was uh, about a 3.5 prop slip on the Yamaha, which is about what I expected um, since it was getting uh, up to speed faster, or excuse me, since the propeller was speeding up to a higher RPM at full throttle. Um, and a negative one for the Powertech, which theoretically is impossible. Having looked into it and running some online calculators, I built my own on a spreadsheet. Here it is. And based on some discussions I ran into online, what it seems to be is that some manufacturers actually don't state the pitch correctly. I'm having to guess that's what it is because as you see here, if I change the pitch in the spreadsheet, other uh, numbers become a little bit more acceptable. Now, one of the things that I like about the Powertech is that at wide open throttle um, 5800 rpm they're about to develop 70 horsepower it's right in the middle of the range um, i'm going to actually stick with the power tech because of that reason uh, the yamaha will spin it up pretty close to the top end of that range which is 6300 rpm um, i think the advertised range for these is um, from 5200 to 6300 or some something like that 5800 i think is a is a pretty good pretty good number to go with so i'm going to stick with the power tech Anyway, don't yell at me about the negative prop slip. It is what it is. The numbers are there. You can go back in the video and look at the numbers, draw your own conclusions, uh, make your own calculations, and um, put something in the comments. But I'm just relaying to you what the numbers were and what I calculated. So what's my conclusion on this? Um, they're both good props, obviously. They both get up on plane. I think the Yamaha gets up on plane a little quicker, which is no surprising because it spins up really fast to its higher RPMs. Uh, it has a higher reach in the RPM range, pretty close to the uh, max on that engine, which is 6,300 RPM. Um, the Powertech spins a little slower, but goes a little faster. Do the math, I don't know. Um, best I can conclude is the pitch is a little different, the cups are a little bit different, so there is some performance variations. It all comes down to your personal preference. What do you prefer? I'm sticking with the Powertech. I like it better, to be honest with you. Um, 5800 is right below the top of the max RPM for that engine, which is 6300 RPM, and it seems to do fairly well. I've had the Powertech on there, and I'll be honest with you, that boat barely sips fuel. Um, I think I put, I'm probably running a gallon every, uh, every hour, if that much, maybe a gallon and a half at the most. But anyway, um, yeah, I'm sticking with the Powertech. Anyway, I hope this video has been helpful to you. If it has, hit share and like. And last but not least, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.